Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, uh, fourth year students, uh, King Marriott Higher Institute of Tourism and Hotels. Uh, today is our English lecture. We are going to talk about the last unit in the syllabus entitled Islamic Monuments of Cairo in the Ottoman Period. We will talk about the Islamic of Mosque. في العصر العثماني ولما اتكلم عن الاثار الاسلاميه هتكلم عن المساجد اللي اتبنت في العصر ده وهنختص مسجد محمد علي وهنتكلم عن بعض المصطلحات اللي دارجه في الاثار الاسلاميه وإن شاء الله بعد ما نخلص اليونت هنتكلم عن شكل الفاينل إكزام هيكون إزاي إن شاء الله ونوعيات الأسئلة. Uh, we are going to start with the special terms المصطلحات عندي مصطلح الموسك تعريف المسجد قال لي is a place of worship هو مكان للعبادة for followers of Islam للمسلمين يعني. أو الناس اللي هي بتتبع الديانة الإسلامية which literally means بيعني حرفيا a place of prostration مكان للسجود وممكن أكتفي بهذا التعريف لغاية النقطة تمام أو ممكن اللي عاوز يكمل بقى براحته the word mosque in يبقى زي ما قلت لحضراتكم إن إحنا هنكتفي بالتعريف لغاية prostration Uh, ممكن نكمل عادي uh, The word mosque in English and كلمة المسجد باللغة الإنجليزية refers to all types of buildings dedicated for Islamic worship بتشير لكل المباني اللي هي بتبقى مخصصة للعبادة الإسلامية Although there is a distinction in Arabic between the smaller masjid dedicated for daily five prayers and the larger masjid where the daily five prayers and the Friday congregation sermons are held, which is attended by more people and play more rules, such as teaching Quran. عندي المدرسة إن كل مسجد كان بيبقى في مدرسة لتعليم أصول الدين والقرآن. فالمدرسة Uh, وكان المساجد مدرسة السلطان حسن سلطان قلاون uh, مدرسة is the Arabic word for any type of educational institution تمام بس هنا طبعا religious whether secular or religious of any religion it's variously it's variously transliterated as مدرسة For example, the Ottoman Empire during the early modern period, madrasas had lower schools and specialized schools where the students became known as dancements. The usual Arabic word for a university, however, is simply jama. Uh, zawiya, generally in the Muslim world, A monastic complex, usually center or a settlement of the Sufi, the mystical brotherhood. In some Arabic uh, in some Arabic countries, the term zawiya is also used for any small private oratory, not paid by uh, not paid for by community funds. Uh, It's a building designed specifically for gatherings of Sufi Brotherhood or Tariqa and is a place for spiritual retreat and character reformation. بعد كده عندي منرت اللي المأزنة The tall cylinder tower of an Islamic mosque from which the Muazzin recites the Adan اللي هو called to prayer بعد كده القبلة It's the direction that should be faced when a Muslim prays during salat 
it's fixed as the direction of Kaaba in Mecca. Most mosques, معظم المساجد, contain a wall niche known as mihrab that indicates the qibla. عندنا الإيوان والإيوان دي كلمة فارسية An Iwan أحيانا بتتقال Ivan is a rectangular hole هي صالة مستطيلة الشكل or space أو مساحة مستطيلة الشكل usually vaulted بيبقى فيها قبة من فوق walled in three sides ثلاث جوانب من الجوانب بتاعتها بتبقى فيها حائط with one end وبيبقى فيه جنب entirely open مفتوح The formal gateway to the Awan is called Bishtaq, a Persian term for a portal projection from the facade of a building, usually decorated with calligraphy bands, glazed tile work, and geometric designs. Iwans are most commonly associated with Islamic architecture. However, the form was invented and fully developed in Mesopotamia, Blad Rafidin, around the 3rd century. It's an arcade or portico open on at least one side. It's an architectural design element in Islamic architecture. تصميم أو عنصر تصميمي في العمارة الإسلامية دايما الرواق ده بيبقى موجود مكان خارج المسجد بيقعد فيه المصلين وممكن يصلوا بيبقى طبعا المكان ده فيه زي شيت كده زي تعريشة أو ضليلة ممكن تحميهم من أشعة الشمس أو من المطر أو كده يعني Uh, it often serves as a transition space between the interior, interior and outdoor space. It provides shade to sunlight in hot climates and cover from rain in any locale. Uh, the stalactite, any type of ornament, no, zina or characteristic of Islamic architecture. It consists of becoming in series of little niches bracketed out one above the other or of projecting prismatic forms in rows and tiers that are connected at their upper ends by miniature squinch arches. Sabil Sabil Kutab Built in 1744 is one of the most exciting monuments of Shara and Muiz. It offers richness and ingenuity in its decorative architectural programs. It was built by Katakuda uh, of Egypt, who was patron of the architecture of his time. This splendid monument consists of two main parts. The southern part is two stories high and has the sapil and kutab rooms, while the northern part not registered has three stories and is used currently as a living apartment. The building is finally decorated in the Mamluk style of Egypt, which continued to dominate Kairin buildings long after the Ottoman conquest In 1553, it's a turned wood stall work made of peach and mahogany, nominal khashab wood. It is used to provide privacy, shadow, light, and ventilation in an installation. الكايرو سيتدل اللي هي قرعة القاهرة أو ذا سالادين سيتدل قلعة صلاح الدين أوف كايرو إز أ فورتيفيكيشن حصن إن كايرو إيجيبت ذا لوكيشن الموقع بتاعها بارت أوف ذا مقطم هيل جزء من جبل المقطم نير ذا سنتر أوف كايرو واز وانس فيموس فور كانت بتشتهر بإتس 
fresh breeze in Nasim al Alil and grand views of the city, and was fortified by the Ayyubid ruler, Al Khalifa or Al Hakim, or Al Qaid al Ayyubi, Salah al Din, or Saladin, between 1176 and 1183, Anu Domini Miladiyan, to protect it from the Crusaders, Ashan Tahm al Qahira. Min Salibiyin Crusaders Only a few years after defeating the Fatimid Caliphate بعد هزيمة الخليفة الفاطمي Saladin set out Salah al-Din Shara to build the wall in Huay ibn Yusur that would surround both Cairo and Fustat يحوض بي القاهرة والفستات Saladin is recorded as saying can be all with a wool I will make the two cities of Cairo and Fustat into a unique whole so that one army may defend them both and I believe it good to encircle them with a single wool from the bank of the Nile to the bank of the Nile the citadel would be the centerpiece of the wool built on a promontory beneath the Muqattam hills a setting that made it difficult to attack. The efficacy of the citadel's location is further demonstrated by the fact that it remained the heart of Egyptian government until the 19th century. The citadel stopped being the seat of government when Egypt's ruler, Khedev Ismail, moved to his newly built Abdin Palace in the Ismaili neighborhood in the in the 1860s. Uh, while the citadel was completed in 1183, between 1183 and 1184, the wall Saladin has envisioned, envisioned, and imagined, it can be at the Salah al-Din al-Surda was still under construction, can this tahti tashid in 1238 long after his death. Uh, to supply water to the citadel, uh, Saladin built the will of Joseph, Joseph, or Yusuf, which can still be seen today. Uh, this well has al is also known as the will of the spiral, al-Halazoni, uh, because its entrance consists of 300 stairs that wound Malfouf around the inside of the well. Once water was raised from the well to the surface, it traveled to the citadel on a series of aqueduct during the rain al-Nasir Muhammad. The will of Joseph failed to produce enough water for the numerous animals and humans then living in the citadel. To increase the volume of water, Nasser built a well system that consists of a number of water wheels on the Nile, the water from which was then transported to the wool and subsequently to the citadel via the aqueduct Saladin has constructed. Uh, uh, the improvements to the citadel's water supply were not Nasser's only addition to the citadel, which was subject to a number of different additions during the Mamluk period. Nasser's most notable contribution was the Mosque of Nasser, Gama Nasser. In 1318, Nasser rebuilt the Ayyubid structure, turning it into a mosque in his name. The structure underwent further additions in 1335. Other contributions to the citadel during Nasser's reign include the, sadder, the structure's southern enclosure. The northern enclosure was completed by Saladin and the residential area which included the space for the harem and the courtyard. Prior to and yani before Nasser's work on the citadel, the papers constructed the whole of just 
اللي هو ساحة العدالة and the house of gold وبيت الذهب The citadel is sometimes referred as Muhammad Ali citadel because it contains the mosque of Muhammad Ali or Muhammad Ali Pasha which was built between 1828 and 1848 perched on the summit Qimma of the citadel, the Ottoman mosque was built in memory it bana hiya and the zikra Tosun Basha Mean Tosun Basha da Muhammad Ali's oldest son Ibn Muhammad Ali al-Kibir who died in Limat Senate 1816 However, it also represented Muhammad Ali's efforts Guhud Muhammad Ali to erase Ashan Yamhu or Yatmus symbols Rumuz of the Mamluk dynasty that he replaced أي حاجة من الأسر من المماليك اللي هو جه حل محله uh, When Ottoman ruler Muhammad Ali Pasha took control from the Mamluks in 1805 he altered غير يعني changed many of the additions to the citadel that reflected Cairo's previous leaders One obvious change that Muhammad Ali enacted pertained to the uses of the citadel's northern and southern enclosures. During the Mamluk period, the southern enclosure was the residential area, but Muhammad Ali claimed the northern enclosure at the royal residence. When he took power, he then opened the southern enclosure to the public and effectively established his position as the new leader. The mosque is the other feature of the citadel that reflects the reign Fatrat Hukm of Muhammad Ali. This feature with its large dome, Qubba, and overtly Ottoman-influenced architecture looms over, and it dominates or prevails the Yasud or the Saitar Ala, the citadel, to this day. Recently destroyed Mamluk palaces within the citadel provided space for the formidable mosque, which was the largest structure to be established in the early 19th century. Placing the mosque where the Mamluks had once reigned was an obvious effort to erase the memory of the older rulers and establish the importance of the new leader. The mosque also replaced the mosque of Nasser as the official state mosque. There are two other mosques in this, at the citadel, the 13th and 14th century hypostyle mosque of Nasser Muhammad from the early Bahari Mamluk period and the 16th century mosque of Sulaiman Pasha, first of the citadel's Ottoman style mosques. Uh, the citadel also contains Al Gawhara Palace, Qasr Al Gawhara, the National Military Museum, Al-Mat'haf uh, Al-Askari Al-Qawmi and the Police Museum and Mat'haf Al-Shurta This is a question on the text It's not important The important thing is the vocab The words I have the word fortify The first word is the first word I have efficacy It's the Via It's the way or through Contributions It's the word Summit يعني قمة Erase يعني يمحو أو يمسح Loom يعني يسود أو يسيطر Rain يعني فترة الحب Briar يعني السابق Envision يعني Imagine يتخيل يبقى they Not an equal society Free from poverty and disease يبقى they envision يعني they imagine الناس بتتخيل إن هم يعيشوا في مجتمع في مساواة وما فيهوش بافرتي لا فقر ولا مرض يبقى هنا إن فيجن أول واحدة هتبقى إن فيجن نمبر تو بليز جيف أس براير نوتس إدينا إنذار مسبق براير براير نوتس إف يو آر جوينج تو كانسل ذا ميتينج نمرة تلاتة الصمت القمة صمت is the highest part on the top of the mountain. Number uh, four, during the rain, rain, يعني فترة الح 
الحكم بتاعة الملكة إليزابيث A compromise was reached between the conflicting religious sects كان في تسوية سلمية بين الطوائف الدينية المتصارعة You cannot just from the world even if corruption is everywhere you cannot erase ما تقدرش ان انت تمحو العدل من العالم حتى لو كان الفساد في كل مكان The news program البرنامج الاخباري came to us via via عن طريق او through satellite آه نمرة سبعة to fortify fortify يعني حصن تروي تروادة against the enemy's attacks ضد الهجوم بتاع الأعداء the Trojans والترواديون built strong wall بنوا مقصور قوي around the city نمرة ايت the scientists are checking the efficacy الكفاءة efficacy the efficacy The capacity of the new drug to produce the results that are wanted. Number nine, he made very positive contributions. Is Hamad contributions? Or عمل is Hamad إيجابية to the overall success of the project. بعد كده food shortages, نقص الغذاء, loom يعني بيسود in some parts of Africa. In some parts of Africa. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we come to the end of today's lecture. Uh, thank you for being attention. Uh, next time, we will discuss the Mosque of Muhammad Ali as an illustrative example. Can be sal taudihi di al asar al Islamiyah fi al Ottoman period or fi al Osmani. Thank you. Till we meet again next week. Uh, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me or to communicate with me. I am always available for your assistance. Thank you very much.